Hey, Tony from Bike Bear here. I want you to do something with me real quick. Take a deep breath. Because we're going to talk all about air filters for your carburetor. Let's roll. Well, to kick this thing off, let's look at all the different types that come on all these engines. The ones you can buy on our website as upgrades. Ones that come with, you know, the OKO carb. All the way to one that I made for my very first bike that actually worked pretty well. So this is the one that comes with the NT carb. You can see it says NT right on it. This also comes with NT type carbs. I think some of the older models, uh, but this one came on the 100cc engine that's on my F0. This is off the four stroke that I've got on the Switz Cruise right here. Boom. And let me see here. This is off an HP carb. This is off our site as an upgrade if you need a better HP carb type air filter. I notice it's a little taller than that one. Uh, this is a, a Uni, U-N-I, sock filter. I think it said something about dipping it in oil, so I've got to dive into that and we'll figure that all out. This one's off the OKO car, a lot of breathing room there. And then this is off some kitchen utensil that I cut down and I stuck over a stage four kit. It actually worked really well because honestly I went wide open with it, but you could stuff a filter in there also. Uh, I just wanted to add some steampunk fun. So the Bofang carb, which is a great carb, it's really uh, held its own in reliability, performance. It's amazing. I, I'm very happy with them. I know a lot of people are very happy with them. Uh, this is the most common air filter that you're going to see right here. It kind of has a skull look to it. Um, one thing that I think about this is how restrictive it is. Really, airflow only comes in through these four ports and then this little slot here. Then you open it up inside. If you pull the screws out, it, got, it has this kind of plastic screen. And then it has your filter material. But as you can see, really restrictive here, here. You know, there's probably people who run these and they're okay. I noticed right away that I'm like, mm, I think more airflow is a good thing. So I would actually take a drill. I would actually drill right into it to give it more airflow. Like that. It's pretty good. Can even go right in the center of it. Like that. That way. That way you have lots of airflow right in the front of it. So that'll give you sufficient airflow. You can put your filter material back in there like that. You can put your screen back in. Bolt it right on, you'll have a lot more airflow, which is a good thing. Next up is this big red one. This comes on a lot of, uh, you know, standard, just basic carburetors. Uh, this one came on the carburetor for the 100cc engine. Uh, this one's a little different because, yeah, it bolts on here and here. But look at all the airflow around top and bottom. One cool feature with this one is its uh, airflow scoop ability, if that's a word. <laughs> uh, because it's mounted towards the rear of the bike, air is passing by this direction. So that means it's catching and going down into the carb and catching and going up in the carb. So this one actually has a potential to grab a lot of air as you're riding. So you could go ahead and drill holes in the front to get more airflow, but I honestly don't think it'll matter much because of how wide open it is on the top and bottom. It's probably going to be about the same. So considering how much it can scoop the air, I think this black one here wouldn't compete at the same level the red one can. Next up is the HP Carb air filter. So what really this one is is a double pleated screen. It's essentially wide open. Yeah, it has a cap, you know, and these sides, but man, that's a lot of air volume that could go in through those sides. So this is essentially like drilling holes in this one, but to even a greater degree. I really like these. I think they work well. I've never really 
you know, notice a difference between removing it or having it on. It seems to work really great. Next up is a HP carb filter that you can buy off the site if you don't have one. The one thing I noticed about this is that it's a little bit taller than the other one. So there's a little bit more screen surface area that can let more air in. So this is something you could buy and try out and see if you notice a difference on it. But if you want a little bit more airflow, a little taller cone, this one is for you. So I think as an upgrade, it's a really well-made filter that can take a beating. Next is the stock four stroke air filter. It's cool because it just has this hinged feature on it that holds it on there. So when you, you know, you got the frame of the bike on here, it'll lean against it so you won't lose it. You can take your uh, filter material out, clean it and all that stuff and keep it all together. Uh, one thing that's uh, really ingenious on this is you have your vent tube that comes directly from your engine. So it feeds up in this pathway all the way back into the carburetor. So it circulates air through the engine. Uh, therefore kind of feeding itself, right? This one has ample airflow. You can see big vent on the bottom. There's plenty of distance between the filter material and the outer shell of the housing. Plus I think when it's together, there's a little bit of edge as you're riding to capture some air to go, you know, flow in from the top. Uh, these are good. They're very standard, even in, you know, other utility uh, kind of machinery. Very good air filter. The OKO carb is on my list of carburetors to test out, um, but what I wanted to talk about today is notice the difference in its air filter, how much taller the pleats are. That lets a lot of air flow in for this massive, you know, port. <laughs> that thing's a, a hoss, isn't it? Um, yeah, I just wanted to compare it to, you know, the one that's on our site that's a little taller for the HP carb and then your standard HP carb one that's a lot shorter. Unfortunately, it doesn't fit on your HP carb, but you know, if you've got the OKO carb, then you're not worried about using the HP carb because you got this monster. Yep. So I just wanted to show the difference between these three and the height and the amount of pleated area to let more airflow in. Next up is the Uni Sock Filter. This is a foam filter made right in California. So this is an American made product. Uh, these are high performance motocross and you know just high performance engine applications a very cool thing about these is that there's an actual spray oil that uni makes that you spray the outside and the inside i think this is a two-step process of filtration so maybe you live in a really dusty area that's really dry and every time you go riding it's just clouds of dust <laughs> uh, the foam would be one step to capture particulates, but then if it, it's oiled, that would uh, also give like a tackiness and therefore capture other particulates that may get pulled through. You never know. Um, so anyway, so I'm really fascinated with these. I think they definitely have a really great application in the right area. So you can check on our site, the Uni Sock Filter. Then I think this is definitely a go-to for you high performance guys. So for those of you that want to try your hand at making a filter, this was just from a kitchen utensil that, you know, I cut the lid out and I put the screw holes in and you could run it wide open. You could stuff a foam filter in there, whatever you want. But I just wanted that kind of steampunk look. If you look at the older videos on uh, the channel on the black bike, I had this on there for a while. So I just thought it was fun. I wanted kind of that steampunk look really, but you could make your own fasten on there. Then this option, because it's wide open, you could try all kinds of different uh, filtering screens just to, just to test and see what works for you. My goal with this video is to help you see what's out there and what the possibilities are. Uh, Cause at first, when you get into the hobby, you tend to see these two a lot. Then you learn of the HP carb that comes with like the stage four kits. Then you learn about OKOs and then you learn about the uni uh, foam filters. And then you kind of like, well, can I make my own? Um, performance wise, I ran the carburetors wide open and with air filters on. I, my gut is um, that this one's a little restrictive, but everything else here is pretty wide open and almost the same as not running anything at all. The main thing you want to focus on is having as much free-flowing air as possible while filtering it 
junk and dirt that can go in your carburetor. Um, but it can go down to look, you know, you can resolve it to looks for the most part as you want, is these look really cool. So that's what people tend to go with. Um, you know, this one is a big foam filter, so, but maybe you don't care about the look of it. You just want amazing performance from an oil filter, you know? Um, yeah, this is what's out there. This is what you'll have to deal with. My recommendation, drill holes in this one. The rest are all good. If you don't want to run one, <laughs> that's fine too, because I've done it. Well, now that we know what the different types are, we can breathe <sighs> easier now. <laughs> <laughs> so I hope this clarified for you. That was my goal is I remember when I first started and I saw these different kinds, I was like, oh, what is, is this one better? What's the deal with it? So I hope that helped you. Uh, comment below with anything that you run uh, filter wise, whether you run one, whether you don't, what do you like about it? Is there a performance difference? So we could all breathe easier now that we know. Let's roll.